My name is Samad Tolukbay. I'm a journalist, researcher, and descendant of great nomads. My ancestors had wandered through these steppes for centuries, followed their herds in search of the best pastures. The cattle was always their main capital. What are they now? The descendants of the great cattle breeders. The school of nomads studying the past, creating present in order to build the future. Today in the program, innovative technologies in animal husbandry, educational research and production center by Sirke Agro, dairy cows Holstein Frisian breed. Since ancient times, livestock breeding has been a traditional occupation of our ancestors. Thanks to the centuries-old experience and natural and climatic features of this region, a unique system of animal husbandry has developed here. Thanks to this occupation, our people were able to survive the most difficult periods and keep themselves in a historical arena. And today this branch is able to become an important component for the economy of the country. Along with the traditional livestock breeding, today the Kazakhstani agro-industrial complex develops new directions of the industry. Breeds of various cattle are improved, purebred horses, thoroughbred cows are imported from overseas. Thus, domestic specialists not only increase the number of livestock, but improve the quality of meat and milk. It is in this direction that one of the largest farms, Baisirke Agro, is actively working today. Let our ancestors not graze cows, but today the breeding of these animals is actively developed by the Baisirke Agro Freeze. So I went to them. Hello. Hello. My name is Samad. I would like to know better domestic livestock. I study its history and its modern development. Today I came to you because I learned that you are raising dairy breed. And I learned that you use different new technologies and get very tasty milk. I would like today to become one of you cattle breeders. Well, will you give me that opportunity? Welcome to Baisirke Agro. Let's go see. We'll show. Oh, thanks. The farm of the agricultural holding is 15 kilometers away from Almaty. Here all kinds of domestic animals are bred. Today I want to get to know better the raising of dairy breeds of cows. The innovative robotic milk complex by Sirke Agro began to be built in 2013. And in 2014, the first stage was launched. Out of two caravans by Swiss Technology, where 180 milk cows were squeezed and the maternity ward for 50 heads. Today the cattle population is more than 2,000 animals. All of them are getting too used to it and many Berenki were born already here. Due to the fact that the raising of cattle breeds is more developed in Kazakhstan, the agri-holding of dairy breeds of cows was purchased. Here we have about 650 milk cows of the Holstein Frisian breed. The main part was imported for the first time in 2013 from Canada because they are more familiar with our cold climate. But today cows are kept and milked in our cow sheds. They are breed of those that were imported from Canada. The Holstein breed was bred as a result of crossing Canadian cows with Dutch breed. Breeders set a goal to bring out primarily the dairy breed. The average weight of the Holstein cows is 650 kilograms. Large individuals can reach up to 650 kilograms. Bulls can weigh up to 1,200 kilograms. 
Most often the Holstein cow is a black and white. It needs special care. In Kazakhstan, they were first introduced in 2007. The breeding of dairy breeds was first carried out in the north of Kazakhstan and in the Akmola region. Later it appeared in the east and south of the country. Of the 12,000 cows that were brought to Kazakhstan in 10 years, 10,000 calves were born. According to scientists, these are not the best indicators and in the future this amount can be increased. In fact, in the world now there are technologies that allow you to significantly reduce the cost of importing cows and get highly genetic cattle using a surrogate motherhood. We're building now. We have already built a breeding genetic center. And at the beginning of the year, we signed a memorandum with an American company where we will have a genetic laboratory at the breeding center that will allow us to get highly genetic cattle with the help of embryon from surrogate cows. Biotechnology is the achievement of the 21st century. Scientists and specialists of Bicirke Agro work in this direction. It is based on the theory of artificial insemination and embryo transplantation. According to scientists, the application of biotechnological innovations has a great future in livestock. Our ordinary mongrel cow, who can bear calf, carrying it nine months, will give a highly genetic thoroughbred offspring at the exit. That is, if you need Holstein, if you need Angus or Gerford, first, transportation is much cheaper. In the second, there is no stress. In the third, it is the cattle that is already born here in Kazakhstan. It will be adapted to conditions from the first days, and the offspring obtained from it will be considered local here. This will undoubtedly be a breakthrough in agrarian science. At this enterprise, special attention is paid to science. There is a whole educational, scientific and educational center. Thanks to this, scientists can conduct their research not only in laboratories, but in practice they can be applied here on the farm. After all, laboratory research can often differ from practical work. Also, the research and production center successfully trains students of the Kazakh National Agrarian University. Good afternoon, Aydar. Hello. One of the main departments of the economy is laboratory. What kind of research do you conduct here? We have three laboratories, separately for feed, separately for dairy products, separately for bio stuff. We're investigating seeds, raw animal products, and also teach students of the Agricultural Institute. This is a complex of laboratories that can quickly respond to emerging issues in the field of veterinary science. The complex is equipped with the latest digital technologies. For example, in this room, there is a daily analysis of the quality of the milk received. If any indicators do not follow the standards, this is reported to veterinarians. We have a hematological blood analyzer, as well as biochemical blood analyzer. We determine the amount of total protein, magnesium, iron, that is, all the indicators of blood serum. One of the important departments of the complex is the laboratory for research of feed. In this laboratory, we determine the structure of a certain food. We set the humidity, fat content, as well as the amount of minerals. All this we measure on a special apparatus, a phosphor analyzer. It is worth noting that agri-holding gets all the feedstuff from own fields. The composition varies with the season. Their quality is investigated before feeding to animals. 
If the feed does not meet the specified parameters, it is not sent. So having conducted a number of laboratory studies, agrarians in certain proportions mix different types of feeds, due to which it increases and qualitatively improves the yield. Of course, the amount of milk depends on what the cow feeds on. Tell us, please, how do you feed them? What mixtures do you make? Well, probably this will be more correct if you say that the quality of feed and the technology of cooking is very dependent on the milk yield of cows. That is, we use for the preparation of a feeder for the cow only the feed of own production. This means corn silage, medic hay, barley, corn and bean cake with very high protein content. There is 42% there. Also, the milking of cows depends on the time of distribution. That is, the feed should be distributed every day at the same time. Balanced feed affects not only the amount of milk, but primarily its quality. According to cattle breeders, these cows are very sensitive to any change to the diet. Changing the composition of nutrients directly affects the quality and quantity of the product obtained. So forages created by farmers are a source of energy for animals. The breeding of thoroughbred cows is not an easy thing, livestock keepers admit. One thing is clear, for tasty milk, you need a tasty and high quality food for the animal. So I will first feed these cows. Well, how do I feed it? On the farm this process is automated. The tractor gives the feed. My first task is to sweep the barn first. And after the tractor has passed, I will check whether all the cows have equally received food. So I coped with this work. And now it's time for milking. I hope that I myself will milk the cows. But I was mistaken. It turns out that this process is fully automated and takes place practically without the participation of a person. Robotic milking, this innovation in Kazakhstan, is not a frequent phenomenon. We are the first who launched it. And it allows us to greatly save on human resources. Well, this is full automation. That is, the cow comes in by itself. The robot is cleaning its udder, treating it with special grease. Over the years of independence, the agricultural complex of Kazakhstan has successfully overcome complex stages of market reforms related to adaptation to a competitive environment. Thanks to economic reforms in the agro-industrial complex, it was possible to create a new economic system that is maximally integrated into world development processes. I am in the room where milking takes place. The process is fully automated. Cows take turns here. Each cow is milked four times a day. At a time you can get about 15 liters of milk. On average, overnight, one cow gives 40 liters. This is quite high indicators, even by world standards. The computer stores complete information about each individual. Here data are recorded on the growth, the health of the cow, and even on the shape and characteristics of the udder. Before the milking process, the robot processes the udder and examines it for mastitis or other diseases. If dangerous microbes are found in milk, 
it automatically spills it into separate dish. The most important in breeding dairy cows is of course the careful care of calves from the first minutes of their life. We are perhaps in the most remarkable place of this farm. This is a nursery for calves. A veterinarian takes care of babies, a beautiful girl named Asel. So Asel, please tell us in more detail, what do you do here? After all, you take care of the calves from their very birth. You feed, you look and you follow them. Tell us in details. My work begins right after the birth of the calf. We bring it here, to separate nurseries. Each house is disinfected, equipped with a special lamp and laid with pure hay. But before this, Within two hours after birth, the baby must get the maternal milk. This is very important for immunity. After that, we transport the calf here. Here, under the warming lamp, the calf must dry thoroughly. And after all these procedures, you can milk the baby twice a day. Newborn calves are divided into two groups, physically developed, born on time, and so on, early born. When dividing into these groups, the height, weight, and as well as the time for which the baby stands on legs are taken into account. These calves almost immediately part with their mothers and no longer see them. Therefore, they are fed them from the bottle with specially prepared milk. We give such a mixture of milk in order to strengthen the immunity of the calf. It contains vitamins B6 and B12. For example, if the mother of the calf is sick with mastitis, then her milk should not be given to the baby. Otherwise, he will have a stomach ache, and hence the digestive system will be spoiled from the first days of life. If the calf is sick, you will have to give the calf antibiotics, and this means a decrease in immunity. Uh, and will not get any more. Yes, the calf is the same newborn baby. Imagine a human child from the first days of life has to take antibiotics. Then he will be a weak child. He will often be sick with a low immunity. So here the same can happen. We must care about the future. If you want the calves to be healthy cows, give a lot of milk. After all, it's Holstein breed. It's a record holder by milk yield, can give from 30 to 80 liters. Therefore, you should take care of them from birth. But as the veterinarian noted, the calves drink only a little from the mother, because colostrum contains more dry matter, protein, vitamins and mineral salts than milk. According to the protein composition, it is prickly to the blood, since it contains a lot of albumin and globulin. The latter is the carrier of all antibodies present in the blood of the mother organism. Everything should be clean. For each calf, a separate dish for milk is given. From the first days, we give to them such a hay. They still cannot eat it, but they must gradually get used to the smell. To protect the young from all kinds of infections and diseases, all the dishes from which they eat should be kept clean. After feeding various buckets, bottles and pacifiers, the farm workers are treated in a special way. In the first months of life, calves need a special diet. Therefore. They are followed by special care up to six months of age. 
We give milk twice a day. All calves or newborns. Everyone who are in these houses. Here kids under two months. Milk is served twice a day. After two months, they will be transferred to a separate section. So let's say in the middle group. And as they grow, do you need to increase the milk portion too? Up to a month, the portion is increased. After we begin to slowly reduce. This is so that if they go to the middle group and do not get enough milk, so they can overcome the stress. And while here, everyone drinks milk. Yes? Yes. And can I sing them? And can I feed them? Of course you can. Excellent. Now I will feed these calves with my own hands. So I'm going to feed the calves. And here there is an important point. The milk temperature must be 37, 38 degrees. If higher, then the calf can burn the tongue. And if the milk completely cool, then the baby will have stomach ache. In general, you must be careful with the temperature. Is this 37 degrees? Yes. Then let them have a drink soon. I do this for the first time. Come to me, baby. Look at how appetizing he drinks milk. Great. I will sum up the results if you want to breed healthy cows and get delicious milk. You should strictly observe the hygienic norms, maintain proper nutrition, and maintain the microclimate necessary for the animals. The most dangerous for calves are considered to be the first 15 to 20 days after birth. It is during this period that they need careful care. They should be warm, light, dry, and of course, delicious. I made such a wonderful excursion and saw how the cows live here. Frankly, this is not a farm, but a resort for cows. Clean cow sheds, delicious food, everything is automated. Here even a special robot scratches the back of the cow. For all these grateful cows, give 7 to 8 tons of milk per day. All the milk obtained after laboratory tests is sent directly to the factory for the production of sour milk products. It is next to the farm. It is beneficial for farmers and it is useful for consumers because the most delicious products are made only from fresh milk. So the milk comes here. It is filtered and cooled. Next is the process of pasteurization. The whole system is automated. In a day at this enterprise, two tons of milk are produced, 500 liters of kefir, half a ton of yogurt, 200 kilograms of cottage cheese. In addition, sour cream, butter and cheese are made here. My day has come to an end. It was a busy day, but I was not tired either. I learned a lot of new things and made conclusions. Animal husbandry is the main occupation which our ancestors had been doing for ages. For centuries, they have followed their herds, creating the best conditions for them. But time does not stand still. Today's smart technologies have become firmly established in our lives and livestock breeding has not become an exception. Just imagine, the cow, which itself goes to milking, and it is milked by a robot, or the import of embryos from which the Kazakhstani cows are already born. And as a result, we get an ecological pure domestic product. Is not this the modernization of the oldest occupation of nomads, cattle breeding?